it's a fantastic opportunity to showcase the strength and depth of the industry in Ireland and um, showcasing the wonderful talent both in the FDI and the Indigenous sector. Um, the actual publication is a fantastic resource in terms of um, seeing the companies in, in terms of what is actually happening in Ireland at the moment and what they are currently working on. It provides a great opportunity for, for companies to collaborate and to, to work together. It's a bundle of things, you know, uh, uh, tax is one issue, but it's definitely not the only issue because um, down in here in the Silicon Docks, you know, it's so vibrant. There's so many young people working in the area. We've got great graduates and people are happy to move to Dublin and work here as well from all around Europe, which is great. Uh, so what, what attracts talent to Dublin? Uh, I suppose there's a, a regulatory, we've created a regulatory environment which is well respected globally and also pro-business. Brexit factor has also become a very relevant one because uh, companies maybe that are looking around and thinking that they want a foothold in Europe but are a little bit put off by uh, the uncertainty around Brexit are, are increasingly viewing Ireland as a, as a really, um, you know, viable, if not, you know, better place to land uh, than the UK. So, uh, so there's, a, there's a whole host of reasons uh, why, why Ireland's a great place to do business. There's many reasons, but it's the three T's in particular. It's track record, all the big tech companies are now in Ireland. The top 10 biggest software companies in the world are here. We think it's talent. Uh, we think we've got a young and educated uh, workforce. 40% uh, of our people here are under the age of 29, the youngest in Europe. And finally, we think it's the tax rate. Our corporate tax rate is very advantageous for business. And I think it has to be protected at all costs by our government in the Brexit negotiations. Ireland's got a thriving pharmaceutical sector and I think that coupled with a really innovative tech centre uh, makes it a really exciting place at the moment um, for its benefits to global health. There's loads going on in the tech space, uh, it's hard to identify one trend that's particularly exciting but you have to say Internet of Things has potential to be absolutely huge as the cost of the hardware comes down and the sensor technology improves over time, I think we'll inevitably see a huge uh, really exciting developments in the Internet of Things. Uh, coupled with that, you're obviously looking at the growth of AI, and AI is just becoming becoming very, uh, you know, pervasive. And companies who maybe formerly didn't see themselves as technology companies are now realizing that with the data they have, they can combine it with AI and, and come up with really compelling offerings. It's important that we stay competitive, so it's important we maintain our competitive edge um, in terms of attracting FDI and retaining the current level of FDI we have in the country. So that will include things like the quality of graduate that we supply, um, the sort of training and continuous upskilling we also provide, and also then, you know, initiatives like Tech Life Ireland where we attract um, people into the country to work in the tech sector here is all really important. We think it's predicated on the ecosystem that we're building here continuing. Uh, we need to make the city easy to work in and to live in, and that means an integrated uh, transport and technology uh, and that needs to be uh, able to access globally. So we think it can continue, we can't be complacent, but we need to make sure that Dublin is a go-to city for young people coming here to work. Mm -hmm.